Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today I have a new video where we're going to talk about the exciting new edition of the Vintage EQ Collection in the recent update Logic Pro X 10.4. It's a very exciting time for the Logic Pro users because if you've been using the stock EQ plugins in Logic, they're not bad by any means, but they're more of a utility EQ. And this Vintage EQ Collection is going to give you some really nice sounds and tones to add to your mixes. So they are modeled after Vintage vintage hardware. You've got one that is the vintage console EQ that's modeled after a Neve. You've also got the uh, graphic EQ, which is the API. And then you have the uh, tube EQ, which is based on a Pultec. So again, very, very good tones here. And I wanted to give you some points of reference. So I'm going to compare this first one with an SSL EQ. I'm not arguing uh, that this sounds better per se, but uh, again, I just wanted to give you an objective reference, and this is the original EQ I used on the mix. So let me go ahead and play this vocal back with the SSL, and then we'll compare it to uh, right now the vintage console EQ. Past pain plays like projections in my mind. Pass the time by venting through these lines all in the summertime. The sun is much brighter when I picture you in it. Last time you showed up, cloudy connection severed. I doubt it. All right, so now let's hear it with the vintage console EQ. Past pain plays like projections in my mind. Pass the time by venting through these lines all in the summertime. The sun is much brighter when I picture you in it. Last time you showed up cloudy. So it's got a very smooth top end, and this is something that up to this point we hadn't really been able to do with things like the channel EQ. I really prefer to boost the uh, the high frequencies with a good software EQ like the SSL because it just has that smooth and silky top end that's not going to take your head off. Now I'm doing the same very aggressive high-end boost with this vintage console EQ stock plugin in Logic and I really like the sound of it. Let me just turn these on and off side by side so we can get a little bit more of a comparison here. Past pain plays like projections in my mind Pass the time by venting through these lines all in the summertime The sun is much brighter when I picture you in it Last time you showed up cloudy connection severed I doubt it amounts to more than surface So again, I really like the, the tone of this vintage console EQ Let's talk about what's going on on the plugin itself Of course, we've got an in button which will just uh, turn the input uh, going into the EQ on and off. Uh, we've got a low cut that we can go all the way up to 300 hertz and down to 50 here. We've got our low gain, some nice frequency uh, points here. We've got a mid gain and then we've got our high gain. Uh, we also have this output module or output model and what they've done is they've modeled the actual output stage of these vintage uh, EQs. So you have the uh, the tube EQ, which is the Pultec, the graphic EQ, which is the API, and then you have the console EQ, which is the Neve. So you can get the output uh, modeling and the sound of each of these. So the, the output stage of these uh, EQs added some color, some saturation, some subtleties to the sound. So if you want to have that included with the EQ, you can do so. I wanted to leave that off just so that we could be objective about the actual EQ sections. Uh, we've also got a really handy feature here where we can choose to do a natural phase or we can do a linear phase version, which means that we're not going to uh, be changing the phase as we're uh, making adjustments in EQ. So really useful there. And then of course we just have our output volume that we can change here on the plugin. The next plugin we're going to take a look at in the Vintage EQ collection is the Vintage Tube EQ. Again, this is modeled after a Pultec, and uh, I tend to use these for things like kicks and bass. has a great low frequency boost, very, very smooth, and it will bring out a lot of uh, nice sub frequencies. So we're going to try this on our kick drum in this session. So let me go ahead and just solo the kick. And right now we've got the uh, inputs off, so this is without the Vintage 2 EQ. And then I'll turn them on and let you hear what this is doing. And with.
So you need to be on some speakers to hear that because there's a lot of really cool low frequency information that's being boosted there. We've got about a three and a half dB uh, boost at uh, 36 hertz. And the cool thing about the Poltec is you have a combination of boosting and attenuating at the same frequency. So what this allows you to do is create some really unique curves in your EQ and uh, you get a tone that was very unique to the Poltec design. Uh, so I've also got this other unit down here. This is the way that the original Poltecs were paired. You had uh, this uh, EQ that uh, does these low frequencies, high frequencies as well, but this was more of a mid frequency based EQ. So paired together, really powerful. And so what I'm doing with this EQ is we've got a little bit of a dip at about 4K, and that's just smoothing things out. And then I am actually boosting around 2K. So let's turn that off and on. So that's without and with. Let's hear it in the context of the mix here. Past pain plays like projections in my mind. Pass the time by venting through these lines all in the summertime. The sun is much brighter when I make sure you in it last time. So it definitely makes our kick much more uh, thick, gives it that boominess that we need. And again, this is a great EQ that up to this point, it's been hard to get that tone out of the stock plugins that have been included in Logic. All right, so the third plugin that is included with the Vintage EQ collection is the Vintage Graphic EQ. Again, this is modeled after an API, and we have some very interesting control over this one because we have a tune parameter. Now, what this allows you to do is you'll notice that we've got 10 bands that we can control, and as I move this control, those frequencies will change. So you have a lot of control depending on how you tune it. So at minus 12, we've got 16 hertz up to 8k now if we go all the way up the other direction to plus 12 we can go all the way up to 32k now what this allows you to do is get a really nice uh, brightness and a smooth top end so i'm actually using this i like to uh, use this for mastering i have it just before our master limiter and i'm doing a little bit of boosting at 8k 16k and 32k so i have it off right now and i'm going to introduce it so that you can hear what it's doing yeah, I said it for get you moving on a little quick. You found your new fix. No, this ain't easy moving through the fix. Saw your new pics. Block you on the Instagram quick. See you got a new man. He ain't nothing to me, ma'am. So a nice smooth sheen that you can add to the top end with the vintage graphic EQ. And with these three models, again, it just adds a lot more control over your mixes in Logic Pro X. Very excited to have the vintage EQ collection added. If you have any questions about any of the three plugins that we covered, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like and subscribe and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon. I tell you how I feel. We have this real conversation You always got those looks that kill Your loyalty is my confirmation Just let go of all your fears